Well, thank you, and hello to everyone joining me today. This will be an outstanding program for us to discuss efforts to reach net zero by 2050. Events like this one help foster a collaborative environment where productive discussion can take place among organizations who have different focus areas, like those on the panel with me. We all have unique viewpoints on the energy transition, and this different, creative thinking will lead to the changes required for a lower carbon energy future. For Halliburton, this includes our long-term investment in cleaner, affordable energy. Halliburton Labs is our innovative commitment to the science and continued evolution of sustainable, reliable energy. Located at our Houston headquarters, Halliburton Labs gives early stage technology companies in the clean energy space access to our world-class facilities, technical and scientific expertise, and business network. It's a collaborative environment where entrepreneurs, academics, investors, and industrial labs come together to advance cleaner, affordable energy. Its board members include Reggie DeRoche, Rice University's Provost and Professor of Civil and Environmental Engineering and Mechanical Engineering, John Grotzinger, Chair for Caltech's Division of Geological and Planetary Sciences, and the Fletcher Jones Professor of Geology. And finally, Walter Isaacson, Leonard Lauder Professor of American History and Values at Tulane University. These board members will help guide the Halliburton Lab's vision, strategy, evaluation of applicants, and cohort selection. Halliburton Labs provides companies with the experience they would expect from a Silicon Valley accelerator combined with the deep business and technical skills of a global energy leader. Halliburton Labs also helps us learn and grow as an accelerator of clean energy technologies required for the energy transition. We recently onboarded our first participating company, Nanotech Inc., a leading edge material science company who's transforming the fireproofing and insulation market to significantly reduce energy consumption while improving efficiency. Through their participation, Nanotech Inc. has taken advantage of Halliburton resources and mentorship to scale their business more quickly and reported a positive impact on their fundraising efforts. Halliburton Labs is holding its first finalist day in December where high potential companies identified through our application and outreach process will participate in a virtual pitch event. We intend to onboard three to five companies at the end of January as part of our inaugural group of participants. Halliburton Labs is one way we're taking action in the energy transition. Playing an active role in the energy industry is integral to who we are, and we see more opportunities to continue doing what we do best. Our immediate and biggest contribution to the energy transition is to continue helping our customers satisfy the world's need for affordable and reliable energy. That's because we see the demand for oil and gas growing and believe it will remain steady long into the future. We also know that alternative energy resources have an important role in the future, but they have a role along with, not separate from, oil and gas. Senator Manchin from West Virginia recently said it well. When it comes to oil and gas, it's about innovation, not elimination. For example, when the wind doesn't blow and the sun doesn't shine, oil and gas backs up those systems. Large-scale battery technology to store power during cloudy and windless days is in the early stages of development, and lithium, which must be mined from the earth, is in short supply. Electric vehicles do not run on wind or solar. They run on electricity generated largely by natural gas. And it will take decades to replace the more than 2.2 billion gasoline-fueled vehicles worldwide. You can't fly an airplane with hydrogen and biofuels. Jet fuel remains the only way to power a jet, and an alternative is a long time in the future. Despite 2020's challenges, global affordable travel is essential to a successful global economy. Setting goals makes abundant sense, and globally, Companies and governments are well along the path to setting net zero emissions goals and pledging action to align with the Paris Accord. And we are seeing real gains. Digital innovation is improving energy efficiency. New technologies are being developed and deployed to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. 
Inspiring work is taking place to mitigate climate change and great plans are underway for the energy transition. But we also must make room for a realistic dialogue about the available resources, both natural and financial. The impact of climate change policies on the poorest of the poor throughout the globe and the timeline, even if accelerated, to achieve our common goal. A realistic dialogue will require us to answer many questions. How quickly can we achieve a lower carbon energy future? What impact will the energy transition itself have globally on the available capital, natural resources, and emerging economies? The reality is, the energy transition will be a journey. We are all aligned on the importance of lowering emissions and improving environmental impact but there are many respected, different views on what resources will be possible to address the world's growing need for energy. To succeed, we must be thoughtful as we take action to develop, adapt, and finance efforts to decrease greenhouse gas emissions while also continuing to meet the world's growing demand for energy. Not only will energy transition take time, it will also affect poor and developing economies disproportionately if we're not careful. The global population continues to grow and many of the world's people live in poor or emerging economies. Oil and gas remains the most affordable and reliable energy source and that's not changing anytime soon. For most of the world's population, oil and gas provides the path to the basics to live a healthier and better life like electricity, clean water, food, jobs, and transportation to work, schools, and hospitals. Completely replacing oil and gas in much of the world will cost too much for any government or company to afford. But together, we can take action that makes meaningful energy transition happen. At Halliburton, we will not sit back and wait for change to arrive. We're taking a firm grasp of change now. We're taking action and executing. It's who we are and it's what we do. We are innovating to reduce emissions, improve energy efficiency, and advance clean energy development because we are committed to a sustainable energy future. For our own portfolio of services and equipment, we continue to do what we do best, innovate, collaborate, and execute to drive efficiencies and affect change, which includes lowering the emissions profile of our technologies. Today, our technologies are already producing meaningful gains. We have technologies being used to drill wells faster and reduce the number of days a diesel-powered rig is on location. We are addressing ultra-high temperature environments and geothermal fields. We are helping our customers achieve their carbon-neutral goals through carbon capture, utilization, and storage. And to provide customers with information to address decarbonizing their legacy production base, we are developing a sustainability label for our products and services. The label will work like a nutrition label, where customers can track sustainability areas like carbon emissions, water use, and noise impact. In the coming months, we will deploy new technologies and implement plans that will further strengthen our efforts to lower emissions and improve the environmental footprint of both our customers and our own operations. These opportunities for innovation and growth will improve our overall sustainability while helping our customers safely and efficiently produce the affordable and reliable energy provided by oil and gas. I know many of you also have exciting work taking place, and I look forward to hearing what you are doing to shape the future energy ecosystem. I have full confidence that together, through creative thinking and innovative technology, we will rise to the challenge set before us to set goals and establish a sustainable, lower carbon energy future. We look forward to being on this successful journey together.